Today we're going to clean up all the junk from your hard drives as fast as possible. So let's dive into it. So let us begin with the most obvious step, which is going into your downloads folder as well as your recycle bin. So we're going to it and I've checked all these files now so I can mark them all and just hold shift and click delete. In this they will not cycle through the recycle bin and just get deleted instantly. There we go, 1.7 gigs free. Open up the recycle bin and check through the files here if there is anything you want to keep. And if there is not, you'll just hold control, click A and then click delete. And you will permanently delete these files. And now we can see we have a 21 gigabytes free. Now we will run disk cleanup. To do this, hover over your C drive, right click on it, select properties and then you'll select disk cleanup here. We should check this thing. Clean up system files. The stuff you find here is files that are not needed. So basically all of these files here can be removed. They are no longer needed. You can just check all these here and select OK and you'll be able to clean them up. Are you sure? Uh, yes, we are. And there we freed up some space. So, you can do this on the other drives. And we can see for this drive there is nothing to clean up. And let's select our F drive, this cleanup. Nothing there either. Now we're going to look at restore points. It's easiest to find the restore point by searching restore point and click create a restore point. So inside here we can see which of the drive has restore points and it is the C drive only in my case. What you can do is you can go into configure and you can see that my restore point is really small. Uh, but uh, if it's big, if it's like set to 50% it's probably like 100 gigs or more. Uh, so what you would do is uh, to click delete the restore point. And now it's deleted, fantastic. And uh, then you would, uh, well, set it to a lower value, just a few percent and uh, click apply and OK. And then you'll need to create a restore point. Just write in uh, today's date or something. And you just click create. And the larger you set it to be, the longer it will take to create this restore point. Now, what you also can do if you basically back up everything yourself with like Macroom Reflect image stuff, and you don't want this feature is to just click configure and disable system protection click apply and yes and then you will have no gigabytes that are used to uh, make a restore point but it's probably smart for most users to have a few percentage dedicated to system restore all right well now you'll go down to the windows flag and right click it and you'll just click settings and here in settings you click system, storage, storage sense can automatically help you get rid of unused files. So for example if we go in here we can turn this on and go to configure storage sense and uh, uh, run it when we have low free disk space like that and uh, automatically delete stuff in the recycle bin older than 30 days and even the same type of stuff for uh, the downloads folder. Now the storage in settings does a similar thing to disk cleanup, so you don't really need to care much about it. I don't think it's uh, very useful at all. But if you want to automatically delete stuff from recycle bin or download folder, this is a great utility built into Windows and you can keep that in check. And also make it clean up some stuff when it's uh, getting full. Uh, but I will leave it off because I prefer some more manual control. One would imagine this stuff being automatic, but it really isn't. So uh, go to your Windows search and just write in percentage temp percentage and just uh, enter. And inside here you have a lot of weird folders and files and just hold control and click A. Just mark them all and you'll just hold shift and click delete. Do this and you will be getting back uh, some gigs or a couple of hundred megabytes. And the ones that can't get deleted easily just uh, just click skip on them and do this for one click skip and just let it run. All right, they are gone. So hold Windows key and click R like in Roger 
and then you'll write in temp here as well and we get to another temp folder and uh, you'll just do the same click ctrl a shift delete delete all these files and uh, give permission and uh, skip if uh, some things are impossible to delete and there we go there is also this windows service that helps you start programs faster so uh, hold the windows key and click r and write in prefetch and here we are in the prefetch folder you can go back one step right click on it click properties and you can see how big it is uh, for some people there is some big uh, bug and if it's like a couple of gigs you can go into it and just delete everything and that's absolutely fine uh, but if it's just a few megabytes like in this case don't bother oh and while we are at this windows folder we will do some uh, deep diving so go down to uh, software distribution this folder go uh, into it then you go to download so we can go in here click ctrl a to mark them all shift delete and delete this and then we give some permission inside of this folder we have old versions of windows um, from windows update so um, and stuff like that and you can delete them they're no longer needed but if you want to revert to an earlier version um, you probably should not delete this folder dive into uh, c drive and uh, you will go to this C program data Microsoft search data application and Windows usually the program data folder uh, is hidden so it might be easier to just copy this uh, search path from the description paste it into the Explorer and click enter and you will get here now what you need to check is uh, this thing Windows EDB this is the search indexing database and uh, for some people it's very large for me it's only slightly one gigabyte which is absolutely fine but if it's uh, i don't know 100 gigs for some people it can be then we will need to do some stuff and rebuild our search indexing so to do this go to windows search and you will write indexing or search indexing options inside here you will first go to advanced in advanced options you will go to file types here we can see index properties only or index properties and file contents you will select index properties only if this isn't selected already and click OK inside here you click modify and you click show all locations and you hover over the different stuff you may and may not want to index. For example, I don't need to index my photos because I don't use search to find any of my photos. So I can uncheck this box and then I click OK. But I do want to check that my music is indeed indexed. And it is beautiful because that's the only thing I search and I just click OK. So if you open up settings here and write in Windows search settings go into that and you can see that uh, pictures are now uh, on the excluded list just like we set up you can also go to this PC and right click on some of the drives and you can see that we can uncheck allow this drive to have contents indexed in addition to uh, file properties so you can like turn off indexing for entire big drives so if you have a big storage drive or like eight, eight terabytes and it's a smart idea to just turn off indexing if you don't search that drive very often also save some performance so when you change the indexing locations and stuff like that you want to go to indexing options click advanced and then you'll go here under troubleshooting delete and rebuild index we'll click rebuild and just click OK and uh, it will take some time to rebuild the uh, index so uh, the drives will work but you may just close this down and it will work in the background to make your new fresh index which hopefully will be a lot smaller and you can go in the previous location and check the actual database file and see how big it is after the process is done now I'll show you a little unusual procedure that might get back 
8 gigabytes for you, 7 to 8 gigabytes permanently larger space. And this is a space that is usually reserved for Windows updates. So in order to give you Windows updates, even though you have low disk space drive, but if you rather want to use this space as you want to, you can disable this feature. So what we'll do is we'll start PowerShell and we can just go down to uh, D flag here right click on it and click on Windows PowerShell Admin or search up PowerShell and right click and start as admin. So inside here we will write in get Windows reserved storage state and click enter. And it says it's disabled. However, if it is enabled, you can disable it and you will get back this space. You will write in get Windows reserved storage state space dash state disabled and click enter. And there I got it. Just write in that. I of course pasted these commands into the description. Uh, however, you won't get back these 8 gigabytes directly. They will come back after the next Windows update. But after that you'll have them forever. There is another little thing you should do if you use Microsoft Store. I don't, but I can show you how to do it. So uh, Write in ws reset.exe in PowerShell admin and just click enter. And it will now clear out the cache of the Windows Store uh, or Microsoft Store. Uh, so will you have a cleaner experience and remove some uh, junk files. Very nice. And as long as it's uh, blinking like this, it is working and it will get back to the normal state when uh, well, it's, uh, it's done. And there we are, so now we can close it down. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, um, there is a lot of folders you could clear out cache in, but they're not usually that big. So I will give you the folder that might be a little bit big that uh, you can clear out. So go into your program data folder, NVIDIA Corporation, and then we go to NV cache, and uh, this thing, we can delete everything we can delete. You want to know how big this is? Well, it is uh, for my case almost half a gig. So I think it's worth clearing this thing out and just click shift delete everything there. And there we go. And if you don't have an NVIDIA card, you'll not need to care about this. Now it's possible that you want to store some of your uh, storage folders like uh, these uh, music pictures or downloads or videos on another location. And what you do is uh, you can right click on them and click properties. Then we can go to location tab here. And here you can move the location to another drive if you want to. And just uh, select folder and click apply. Now I have already moved my pictures folder to uh, my F drive, but I will do it for the downloads folder. We can click properties, location, move, so inside a D drive, we can create a downloads folder and just select folder and then we'll click apply. And then we get this little query, move folder. Do you want to move all the files from the old location to the new location? And of course we will click yes. So now all our downloads is in D downloads. But it will of course be accessible if you just click downloads, you will get into this folder on the D drive. And if you go to our user folder and to downloads, we can see the old downloads folder is here and it's of course empty and no new files will be saved here. It will be the D downloads area we have selected. So that's all jolly and good. You can move your movies, pictures, documents, downloads, everything of those uh, user files to another drive if you wish to. Uh, it's absolutely fine. And just move them over there and you will free up some space on your main drive. Pretty useful. There is this fantastically useful application called Windirstat. It gives a visual representation of how big the files are by showing them as color clusters. So download this application and install it. It's free from ads as well and just um, select a drive you want to index and click OK. Great, we're done scanning and if you want to know what big files are here, well you can just uh, click on a big file and you can see here uh, it's satisfactory. 
a game I have installed, that's big. And if I don't want it, this game anymore, I know, okay, I need to uninstall this game to get the 10 gigabytes free, fantastic. And what do we have here? A hibernation file. Uh, if you don't use hibernation, you should turn it off, but I think it's a super useful feature and I gladly spend six gigs on it. What is this for an enormous file? Well, it's an old recording and oh my god, it's 37 gig. Glad I found it so easily and I can delete this one as well. And I can delete this file permanently. Fantastic. And there we go. Now we have 70 gigs free. Fantastic. So uh, now let us run another little application that is quite useful. I recommend this tool for anyone who want to clean out their system a little bit more thorough. Uh, maybe do some of this automatic uh, removal of the uh, temporary folders. This tool does it. And that's CCleaner. It's uh, free to use. They have a free version. But when you go to their homepage, um, be careful to not accidentally select their pro trial. They're a little bit sneaky about it. So what we can do first is go to tools and go to the uninstaller. CCleaner's uninstaller is absolutely great and we can even uninstall some Windows uh, Store apps which are not usually uninstallable but you know. There we have it and uh, Figma agent we can uh, uninstall that as well. And sometimes they are kind of still here and when you click uninstall you get this little uh, issue here. So if you just click uh, F5 and uh, then update it and you can see now it's gone. Here you can see enlisted, um, it's 15 gigs. I want to uninstall this, so you can just uninstall it here. 15 gigs back, fantastic. So that's how it goes, uninstall everything you don't need. Just go through this list of programs and uh, for the programs you had before but no longer use or programs that came with your PC and you never bothered to uninstall. Well, you can uninstall them here, fantastic and easy. Now we'll go back to this custom clean session. Here we have Windows, Cage cookies like uh, Microsoft Edge, Chromium, Windows Explorer, like a lot of different stuff here, like empty recycle bin, temporary files, blah, blah, blah. You can leave everything checked in like it is. Um, and be a little bit careful because if you click in everything you might remove more than you want to remove but the preset uh, options are um, very much good enough. Then you can go to application and uh, you might understand that uh, your internet browser has cache uh, and cookies and you can delete those cache and cookies by checking these boxes. You can even delete the session, so all your tabs you have up, but I don't want to do it. Stuff that's already pre-checked is uh, usually good enough, but uh, you can click in some other things you want to clean up. So uh, we have both these checked and we can click Run Cleaner directly or just analyze to see how much we actually would be able to remove. So 5 gigs. We can remove 5 gigs doing this. So let's run the cleaner and get those uh, 5 gigabytes back. And there we go, 5 gigabytes removed. And now we can go to registry and uh, let all these be checked and just scan for some different keys uh, and uh, weird data in the registry. So uh, every like missing stuff and weird stuff going on in the registry that's not proper anymore and changed. Uh, it leaves some junk behind and usually this junk is very small but if you never done this clean it can be a substantial amount. So it's worth running a registry check and you just review selected issues which is all and uh, it asks you to make a backup that's smart. Uh, I'll just click fix all selected issues and close and I've done that for years and I haven't had any issues yet but if you get some issues <laughs> don't blame me it asks you to make a registry restore point which is probably smart but well, as I said I never had any issues so I'll continue to do this. You can also go to options and of course turn off its starting every time the system starts. And now you can see I have 83 gigabytes free on this drive and if I uh, would have moved my pictures and uh, music to the other drives um, it would be probably maybe 500 gigabytes free. Hope we did clean up some stuff there and if it did please leave a like and do subscribe for future videos. This is your host Jim Edison, signing out.